Hey everyone, this is Andrew Hess and this is my SharePoint questions. Today this video is going to be creating a task list and the objective of the task list is to only show your tasks in SharePoint. So uh, depending on who the user is, when they look at the SharePoint list, they're only going to see the tasks that they own. But there will be one central owner who assigns the task to the different uh, resources. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Maybe if I say it twice, please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get into it. All right, so I've already connected to my SharePoint list. I'm going to insert a form. So I'm going to go to Form, Edit. I'm going to connect to my data source which is my tasks. So that's the name of my task list in SharePoint. So we can see here, my tasks. I have a few columns that make up this list. Uh, my task, which is the title field renamed. Uh, due date, actual time, and resource. So we have a uh, single line text, date, uh, single line text, and then a people picker. So in this form, I'm going to do edit fields. I'm just going to add those columns. So we have due date, actual time, my task, and resource. There we go. So I'm going to add those columns to my form. All right, and we can just drag and drop the tasks as we want them or the properties as we want them. make this a lot bigger due date and then resource so it's, it's nice and simple right all right so we have our form let's create a few buttons here so we will have a submit button a new form button so this will be submit new and this will be back so let's do submit well, I may have done it backwards, but okay. It's new, new, submit, and this will be back. So in order to go back, we're going to need a new screen. So I'll just create a new screen for now. So I have screen two. So back will be navigate, screen two with a fade. New will be new form form one that's my form down there notice it highlighted in green and submit form form one all right so when we press play you'll notice our form is blank so we can do new form here and we can create something let's say uh create the sharepoint list the due date will be today. It will take one hour. So this is just a single line text field. The resource will be myself. And I will submit. All right, so when we check out SharePoint, we see that we have create the SharePoint list. Due date is 2-6. Actual time, single line text, and resource is myself. So let's go back to Power Apps. All right, we're in Power Apps. Let's click the back button. So we're on our screen two. On screen two, we're going to add a gallery and it's going to be connected to my tasks. That's our SharePoint list. And so you notice we have one task in there. I'm going to remove this image real quick. All right, so we have our one task, create the SharePoint list. Now, when we click this arrow, we can make this a button. We can make this an arrow. What we're going to do, we're going to say after it selects the parents, we're going to navigate to screen one on a fade so this is where some people get confused you know they they navigate to the form and it's not populated with their previous option so let's click play we navigate you'll notice it's still blank so what we need to do is go to our form and fill out the item property so on our form on the left side we can go to item and we can say this is equal to gallery three so that's actually my gallery it's actually gallery three for you it might be gallery one dot selected so now it's populated with our selection so let's go back we click the arrow it's populated with our, our selection 
if we were to change it to, well, I'll add a two on there and then I'll submit. It's actually going to edit SharePoint instead of writing a second task. So when we refresh, you'll notice that it says create the SharePoint list number two. So that, that's how you edit. Now you can leave a new button here or if we go back on our gallery screen, we can say we can change this button and we can call it a new task. Let's just call it that new task. And on this, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new form, form one. And then after that, we're going to navigate to screen one with a fade. All right, so now if we hit new task, you'll notice that it's now blank. So we can go and say uh, create, create work breakdown structure. Uh, we could say this is, oh, this was before on Friday. It actually took us four hours. And once again, the resource was myself. So we'll submit. Now, if you notice when we hit submit, it, it kind of populated the edit list. So let's fix that. Once we submit, what we want to do is we want to navigate back to screen two on a fade. So we'll click new again and we'll, um, let's say add specified resources. And we'll do that on the eighth and this will take us one hour. And once again, the resource is myself. And then we'll submit. So now that takes us back. You notice we have three options now here. Create the SharePoint list too, because we edited it and then create the work breakdown structure and add specified resources. All right, so let me show you another uh, spot where people get stuck on. So if they click on new task and then they go back and then you click here, you'll notice that it's still stuck on new tasks. So we wanna change that back to edit mode. So when we click on this arrow here, what we want to do is Right before navigate, we want to reset the form. So reset form, form one. So right before we navigate, we're resetting the form back to edit mode. So we can click on new task, it's blank. Go back, click on the arrow. It's now back into edit mode of that list property. So back, edit this one, create work breakdown structure. Edit this one, add specified resources. All right, so now for the little bit of magic that SharePoint can do for you. So let's uh, create a new task. And this is going to be test the product. And the due date will be the 18th. Actual time, we'll give it uh, eight hours. And this is gonna be done by Homer Simpson. All right, so we're going to submit. All right, let's add a little bit more, or let's give ourselves a little bit more space. So we can see all four of those now. We can see the four list items. So let's go to SharePoint, and do, this is where the magic actually happens. So we have our four list items here. And we can see the resource is myself, 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 and then Homer Simpson. So we're gonna go on to settings, list settings. And so I'm going to create a view. When I create a view, I'm going to start from an existing view called all items. And this view I'm going to call my tasks. And down here in the filter, we're going to filter by show items only when the following is true. Let me make sure you can see. So filter, show items when the following is true show items when resource is equal to me so that's a bracket capital m e bracket i'm gonna go back up to the top and i'm gonna select the check mark here to make this the default view and then i'm gonna click ok so now you see that i'm only seeing tasks assigned to me i have two views in sharepoint right now so I have my tasks and all items. So under my tasks, I only see the ones assigned to me. 
in all items, you can see all of the tasks assigned to everyone. So most people, when they come to this list, they're going to click on, they're going to be on their SharePoint site home. They're going to click on my tasks and they're only going to see their own tasks. Now this is awesome. This is what a lot of people can use. Uh, you're not going to see everyone's task if you want to. If you're the owner of the list or maybe you uh, just want to see all the tasks in a row, you can click on the all items and then see all of the tasks. So that's just a very simple way to make a, a, a task list. Let's, let's add one more just to kind of show off. Let's uh, add one more up here. I'll make a little bit more space. So the new task will be uh, create analytics. Hopefully I can spell right. And we'll do that on the 25th. Actual time will be 24 hours. The resource will be Bart Simpson. And we will submit. So we now have all of our, our line items here. If we go to tasks, see, I only see my own. Once again, if I click on all items, I'll see Homer Simpson, Bart Simpson's, I'll see their options also. So this is a way to create a task list really quickly. I don't know how long this took me. I mean, probably under 10 minutes I created this task list. Uh, you can do this for your own team. Uh, you can put your list in Teams. You could put this list into my into Microsoft Lists and then and then put that right into your Microsoft team. And then you have a task list for everyone uh, for people to follow. So this was a question someone gave me online. Uh, if you have more questions, please feel free to ask. I, I love answering questions. That's what my YouTube is based off. You ask me a question and I, I make you a video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.